Welcome back. Um, yeah, got some wheels for the SVX. <laughs> now hopefully my camera's working properly and being in focus is being kind of odd. Maybe because I haven't used it for a long time. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, got some wheels for the SVX. I've had the wheels on the SVX for a while now. They're not in fact mine, they're a friend's. I've been borrowing them for a long time. Well, I've been making up my mind what wheels to get. Basically, it's taken me ages to make up my mind what I want. Now, what I really, really want, I can't actually afford secondhand or brand new. Um, I wanted Ragers, that would be like the, the ultimate, but finding them used in the fitment that I want, um, not impossible, but very, very, very expensive. Um, you can buy them new, but they're even more expensive. Um, yeah, so that's kind of out the window. Now, uh, I saw these come up for sale. Same fitment as the wheels on there at the moment, so great. Um, they works. They need a little bit of a refurb because um, they're second hand. But apart from that, it's all good. So let's have a look. There you go. So they are Workamotion uh, D9Rs. Now I've seen them in a variety of finishes, but I've never seen them in this finish. Obviously, once I found these online, I managed to find a picture. Um, but it's a machined lip, um, silver face, and the inserts there are are black. So yeah, a little bit of refurb work needed. Um, most of the lips are good, they just need a little running over. Um, that one's the worst, that's been curved a little bit, not too bad, you know, it's got some some marks there, nothing too crazy. Um, I'll have to repaint the faces, but that's not a big deal, got some chips taken out of them. But nothing, nothing insane, just, you know, regular marks from just wear and tear. We've got the specs there, so... Yeah, work in motion, D9Rs, 18, 9.5, ET12, 12, 12, 12, and yeah, PCD. So, let's take one wheel or two wheels off and have a look. All right, there we go. So, all wound into position. Really like the um, the polished lips. I might change the color of the faces, just because it kind of blends in a little bit. I might go for a, a, a variant of white, um, like a grayish white. Not like the old wheels, but something to make the centers kind of like stand out a little bit. Um, just because it loses a bit of detail being that finish, but yeah, fitment is obviously the same as before. I uh, just need to get them refurbed and some tires. Let's, uh, let's try one on the back now and see what that looks like. I do like the finish on these. It's really cool, but I don't think it suits the car 100%. So. Pretty positive that I'm going to go one solid colour for the whole lot. Um, a variation of white. Something with like a hint of grey in it, not Nardo grey. Um, but something, you know, kind of like a an off-white, maybe. Or maybe just a white, I don't know. Um, but I think that would suit it a lot more. It'll pick out more definition in the wheel, because this being darker, you lose that definition that size of spoke it looks the spokes look really really thin but they're actually really chunky so um yeah i think i will do that so 
scuff them up I think and then um, I might get them powder coated that might be the uh, the move So I'm going to take these to my friend and I'm going to get them powder coated. So should see him a new colour in a second. Right, a couple of weeks have passed since I was working on the wheels last. Took them to get powder coated, they're powder coated now. Also, I took my side skirts to my friend to get painted. So they're painted it as well. I wasn't going to do a whole episode of me just, you know, putting painted side skirts on, that'd be ridiculous. So um, yeah, they're painted and I've got my wheels back. So let's have a look at the wheels. So I went with like an OEM kind of finish or color. So I'll just show you. There we go. Went with silver, obviously, but it's in a satin finish, which looks unreal. It looks so, so nice. It's going to be, um, yeah, it's going to look so good compared to those, I think, because I do like those wheels. Um, the colour obviously kind of matches the body, but it's not the same colour. Um, so that's going to give it a nice bit of contrast that it's lacking. Also, um, yeah, got some side skirts. So one side is on. I'll show you the other side. I haven't got that side on obviously because I can't jack up the car to get the wheel off. Um, yeah, cause I just can't because the side skirt, so I didn't put it on. Um, but there's the other side skirt on, looking pretty damn cool. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's so good to see it in colour, finishing off the car, making it flow. So, once... Well, side skirts, obviously, takes no time at all to put on. Um, I need to respray a few little bits and pieces. I need to respray um, some damage on the bumper. My fault, respray that over fender, um, rear bumper, and I'll see the, the spats that you can't really see there. Um, and respray the front grille because originally I sprayed it black and then I sprayed it body color. I don't like it body color, so it's going back to black again. Uh, nothing crazy so let's just uh, so let's get a wheel on um, so I can have a little look and see what it looks like and I am fully aware that those discs look horrible and the calipers so I'm gonna get new discs obviously and paint the calipers but yeah let's see how the wheel looks oh Oh my god. <laughs> that looks good. That looks really good. The discs obviously let it down. Um, but like I said, got to get new discs for it. Paint calipers. Um, Going to get some centre caps, obviously for them. Some, some of the flush type. I'm going to try and let the air out of that one bag so I can jack up that wheel and uh, See what it looks like when it's aired out. Oh man, that looks so good. That looks ridiculous. I am, oh man, unreal. Absolutely unreal. That looks so good. That looks so, so good. Right, let's put a side skirt on. Right, let's try and air it out.
it looks pretty ridiculous. Um, yeah, unbelievably stoked, and I can't wait to get the wheels on. Like I said, it's just it's kind of like an overload of that kind of shade of grey. <coughs> so once that's yeah, once those wheels are on, <coughs> I think a really nice contrast. Uh, yeah. Again, it's, it's <coughs> again it's frustrating having this garage sometimes because can't really see what's going on. But there you go. That's what we're working with. And then once the spats are on, all the bits of paint are sorted out, we can take it outside. So I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Um, bit of a weird one, um, kind of all over the place. Um, I tried to record the other week, um, but I was ill, so it turned out unbelievably bad so i hope you guys like that um next episode um i don't know when it's going to be but i'm going to try and um film painting so what i'm going to do is take the brat to my dad's house and then i'm going to have this whole front area um bagged out so i can paint in there obviously it's you know it's the size of a garage, so I can I can take stuff off, I can prep it and paint it properly um, without kind of tripping over myself. Because at the moment I'm just falling over everything, and I can paint if I want to. If I bagged everything up and you know paint it, I could paint it here, but it's just it's just a nightmare because it's just tripping over stuff and it's just overspray and all that stuff. But um, yeah, we'll get it sorted out. So next episode I'll probably be doing that, um, and then things like <clears throat> you know discs and calipers um yeah tiny bits and pieces up so i hope you guys liked it and i'll see you in the next episode take care subscribe you fools <laughs>